Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to episode 8 of David's March. David's March is a campaign for Wargame Red Dragon and it is a modded variant of Bear vs. Dragon. All the information that you need about this mod is in the de oh, sorry, in the description. Link there is going to send you to a Google Doc from where you can download the mod and follow the installation instructions. I will not be providing any tech support on the mod myself. Now in the previous battle we took Khan Yunus, which was actually surprisingly easy. And we have sent the battle groups on the run. But it turned out they're not just running. They're running towards something. They're running towards the reinforcements. So that's nice. I'm also going to be moving up. Um, but probably with one big ball of units. Because I have to take Arish before turn 18. It's currently turn 13. Whether I can do that right now? I think I can. But it's going to have to be on their part of the turn. Because um, not all my armor will be able to actually... Yeah, they don't have initiative. So not all my armor will be able to fight immediately. Let's send in everything. No, that way. Uh, except the helo groups. I want the helo groups standing by. Not actually going any offensive just yet. Want you over there, want you over here. We have another 30 points. I can call in the uh, first ABCT over there. It's going to bring in assault engineers and strikers and a few more tanks. Going to be pretty useful. Send them up. Unfortunately, low initiative, so uh, they cannot be asked to move again. Right, we're going to send in all the aircraft. All the planes are going to go on the offensive here, except for the hammer squadron. Which does not have enough initiative to make to the front line. So time to re-sign those here. Helo, Helo, and Helo. We're going to wait. We have some plane groups here, but I don't exactly know what their plan is. Because they don't really have any ground units which they can attack with. Alright, Rafa. If I were to attack now, how would that look? I would start here. Um, they have a total value of forces of 30,000 versus my 13,000. I have a nice large group of infantry, but they're all scattered. And I don't really have any close range infantry to fight with. I only have 12 Merc of a 3s versus their 131 tanks. Thank you very much. I am not doing this on this part of my turn. I will end my turn and let them crush into me, or crash into me, and that way my tanks will be there, as will my planes. This is going to be a big, big engagement. 21,000 points total value. Theirs has now blossomed to 35,000. The battle is on. Um, they have 10 command units plus another 5 command tanks. Lovely. 110 units of infantry. Also transported by BMT-84, so effectively granting them even more armor and flying tanks, the MI-24D. This means I will need to bring in the air. They got VDV Copia in the KA-92. That's the blisteringly fast helicopter at 540 kilometers an hour. These guys come in a ground vehicle. Yeah, okay. Loads of support. I do have my seed aircraft here, right? Yes, the Kernises are available. And they're going to be busy taking down as many anti-air units as possible. At least that's the plan. But some of these, in fact quite a few of these, like the uh, the 23-4, the Sosna R, uh, the Technical, the Pantisir even, they cannot be located. They don't have a radar. Great. The Flacom Tour can be taken out. They do have a ra Yeah, they do have a radar. 131 units of armor. Most dangerous will be the T90AMs and the T72B3s, followed slightly further behind by the M1A1 Abrams. 44 reconnaissance units. I'm really going to need to bring quite a lot of anti air. Uh, 44 planes versus my 36 planes. We got Apaches coming at us. 
MI24P AAMs and MIL, MI8 TVKs, which also come with high-end anti-tank missiles. Yes. Plan. Turtle up and Bolshoi Cayman. Um, going on the offensive early on is not recommended, considering that I only have a plus 5 from Cohesion, plus a 2 from a Sector, so I'm going to get a plus 7. Let's say they capture everything. That's 3, 6, 10, 12, plus 10 is 22 points per second. And they can feel the ton of units. I'm going to be fairly defensive. Because anything else is not really going to be too likely to win me the game. The buildings here have a decent line of sight. I can shoot out to here. I can shoot out to there and to there. I wonder... If they're going to spawn in a ton of units on the edge here, they might. They might. Um, these guys have the spike MR and with the spot the, the yeah the spike LR two. It's more AP. Although these are top attacking missiles and these are just flat out attacking missiles. Let's go with the top attackers over there. Most of my tank force I'm going to hold slightly behind. Because in a short up engagement, just short range, I will not win it. And I'm not going to risk that. What I might risk is an airstrike. Especially if I have a whole bunch of units clustered together on their team. It could be valuable to try and take out as many of them as possible. Um, armor... We're going to deploy a Murkova 3 Picud for a, a command unit here. Because I think that the Arsarit, even though it has a ton of armor, is not enough. Let's deploy a Nimrod for reconnaissance. If they come at me from here, through that area... Well, I'm going to have to stop them somehow. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be pretty damn dangerous. The only units that can hold this area are the Rovait. At short range with M72A4s and Shiatet 13. This is going to be a really rough time for Shiatet 13. Let's deploy Patriot Pack 3 to deal with any air threats. Uh, BTR TCM in case they flank me and just wait for further points. Oh, yeah, they're here. Get back, get over there. Get out, fall back. Armor. Type, Ramesses 2. We're going to artfark that. Ceasefire. As long as they're parked, they're vulnerable. Drop off, get out. Right now. That wiped out a good number of them. And I did not get any kind of return fire. That is surprising. Cedar craft, what can you find? Got some helos here and there, but nothing radar guide. Oh, actually, there's radar guided stuff. Long range missile, taking out some 70 point unit, and another 70 pointer. Well done. Uh, these need to go. Can I just drop a glide bomb underneath them? Like, drop a glide bomb there? It's a bit unorthodox, but those glide bombs do a lot of high explosive damage. So if I'm able to just splash that bomb upwards... Yep. All right, let's see if we can slowly but steadily start to move out with reconnaissance. One shy Tet holding the buildings here. Make sure that this road's locked down and so for this road. And deploy another group of Rovaites along a road that I think is less likely to be traveled, which is this one. There. So far, it's really quiet. 
But that calm can be deceptive. Take up that position until Rovahit arrives. Another cheap sniper team here. Actually, no, go here. Go to the middle of the map. Because they have a CV somewhere in Charlie. If I can find that, I can deprive them of further income. And more importantly, if I can find their CV in Arish, I can stop the flow of units. And hopefully, shut them down that way. Hold. Oh, bloody hell. What's all that? Tanks. Lots and lots and lots of tanks. Oh god. The sky is ours. Yeah, it might be, but the ground is not. Because the ground belongs to them. That's the drone. Here comes the artvark. Drop it like it's hot. Get out. Out. That's more like it. That was a couple of 120 pointers. Wow, you lived? Probably for... I don't know, by the grace of the tree lines, I think. Do I have anything that gets dropped off by a hello? Yes, I do. Go. And you go over there. I need more information. Give me another tank. You guys are going to start to move up. Preferably under cover from a Patriot. They got it again. I did not get the command unit. Alright. Um, covering this bridge is going to be interesting. HGMs here will shoot both ways, but HGMs here are more useful. Give me Dorban LR. And a reconnaissance team. We're going to slowly but steadily lock this map down. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. That's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor. And anti-air. Drop. Drop. Lost one artvark. That's T-72B3s. Road of death. If you come down this way, it's going to cost you. Shy Ted are going to get overwhelmed almost immediately. Other Shy Ted, move in. I need another plane. Napalm, in this case, is going to be fine. It won't kill a tank. But I don't strictly need it to. Oh, crap. Here comes the, the lockdown team. Get out! Napalm's going to block their line of sight, and at least buy my uh, already wounded Chayatet a little bit of time to try and get some reinforcements. So let's get a logistics unit in here. A captured one at that. With the Merkavas over there. I mean, you guys should try and lock down this position here. Just overwhelm the missile defenses. Hit. Hit. Kill. Uh-oh. You might want to drop off. You're in a terrible spot. Get out. Out, 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 out. Ooh. You destroyed a TCM? Huh. Could have been worse. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not going to go well. This is definitely not the right aircraft to use, but it is fun to use. Drop, 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 drop. Thank you. Stun the shit out of those. There we go. They're panicked, but they can still shoot back. Shy Tet there survived and are getting reinforcements. Do I have anything that drops further cluster bombs? Or one of these is helpful, a Sufa. Oh, crap. Uh, new plan. We're going to move up to there and drop off and then land. 
Antier, origin there. We're gonna try and move up and see if we can push those Antier units out of there. Shai Tat back up to full. Hold on a moment. There's a bit more here than I was hoping for. Uh, get me a mark of a four to assist. Who's lobbing enormous missiles at me? Side shot, beautiful, well done. Another mark of a four over there. Shyatet, beautiful, excellent job. Get over there, you're gonna get supplies from the A13. Rovait, forward. Merkavas so far are holding their own. Even if they got threats coming in from, well, everywhere. You guys are going to fall back. We're going to put these over here. It's a very, very fragile position for an HGM team. Just drop a glide bomb on there. That should take out the interior unit. And anything else with it. Come on. Thank you very much. Oh! Cute. Don't do that again. Uh-oh. That was a big... Big piece of ordnance. Oh god, there's tanks all over the place here. At least these things are relatively easier to kill. Come on. Good work. Time to spam in some more armor. TCM, take out that bird over there. Oh, hold on. Off your six. Check behind you. There's a T-72B3. And they're killing off our units. Our Lodgy. Oh, they are dying. Thank you, HGMs. Your timing is impeccable. Kernus, see if you can find anything worthy of attention. Get over there. Recon over here. Uh, Rovate are alive. These guys are not that much alive. Fall back. Kavi, over there. Give me another Logi, another Oshkosh, and I'll take a couple more Merkavas. See if we can push back along this road. My 24s. Interesting. Um, dropping off units here. Here. This might be an interesting spot. Drop off there. Go there and land. Ideally, I have another glide bomber. Brakit. Oh, shit. Different angle. That's B3s. You're not supposed to be here, damn it. Uh, Brakit, status. Drop your bombs. Good. Stay in the area for a second. Those glide bombs are supposedly... What? Come on. That's not what I ordered. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Dorbin Alar, get back. Where's my armor? Here's my armor. Move. The other armor unit is over there. Go. Shayatet, deal with that tank as best you can. Give me more HGM resupplies here. Well done. I'm surprised actually the Dorbin Alar are surviving this long. Mark of a four, resupply that, or at least reinforce that group. Give me an Oshkosh. And a Namer. I want to lock this position down. Kearns is not finding anything. Hold. We can take this thing out with missiles. It's not stellar, but it'll work. Okay. Okay. Uh, over here, we can see the bridge, hopefully. Uh-oh. <sighs> Almost nailed the sniper team. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, Sufa. Patrol the place. Drop bombs on anything and everything. That should wipe out the Zephyr. I really want that Hilo dead. They spotted the sniper team, but for some reason they're not killing it. Jesus. Give me a couple of more work of us. You, go. Oshkosh, we really urgently need supplies and repairs here. Yeah, I lost another my Ruach. Uh, Brakit. Over here. Yeah, we're about to lose reconnaissance. Target light bombs, here. Wipe out those MA-24s before they ever come a threat. Did you kill something? You did. Interesting. Brakit, drop. No shenanigans this time, just drop it right there. Go on, man. Thank you. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to scatter that much. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Helos? Best I can do is a Nimrod. Uh, in that case, I'll take another Sufa. Just to ensure that I have a bit more ordnance to drop on them. Fall back. Oshkosh, appreciate the enthusiasm. Fall back a bit. Hold, drop off. Move. Sufa dropping. Uh, recon infantry in here, please. Sufa out of ammo. Mark of a fourth there. The other one goes to here. Oh, we've spotted quite a lot of valuable stuff there. This is all the reinforcements that are coming in. We still need to go through 4,800 points in order to get these guys to move elsewhere. Stop. I have one more Merc of a 4 that I can put into the fight, and that's it. We still have the Dracon. Kala David. Better. Fire. I'm not even sure what we're shooting. Uh oh. Recon team has been spotted. Oh, we're fighting a BMT 84. Interesting. Merkava CQB getting ready to deploy the recon infantry. There's not much left of that tank. No! No, 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 no. So the current is along this side. I also want to try, ideally, to find their command unit here, but I don't really have any units available to do that with. Uh, this Nimrod. Resupply the fob, and then move that way. Don't. Don't even think about it. Kela David. Over here, I need to make sure those recon helos stop spotting me. Another Merc of a 4 Marlgoach dead. Missile intercepted. Crap. Get over here. He's taking hits again. At short range? I suppose the Magach 6 is going to be enough. If I just ambush all of these units as they're coming through. No! No, 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 no! They're routing. We got spike missiles, make them count. One down. Brakit. Get me those glide bombs. And drop them on the targets this time. If you please. I'm not sure if the helos are going to stick around there, but I'm willing to bet. Yeah. Yes. One down. I suppose that the Kela David can take the other one. More Zephyrs are coming in. Short range as well. Want more armor there and armor here. 
We have 3,700 points left to go. Uh, that means that they won't run. It's going to be a draw. Oh, they killed the recon team. Abrams. Great. Unfortunately, both Sufas are offline. Nimrod. See if you can find that command unit. Could be an infantry. Ah, lost on the Merc IV. What? Uh-oh. Still got a few missiles, but not that many. Make it count. Hit. Not a kill. Nimrod, I could really use your assistance over here. Yes! Oh, with the last missile. This is why you pay the Magline the big bucks. We're gonna drop here. Just rock eyes and general bombs. Let's see what pops up. Oh. It's those, huh? Come on. Stun and or wound. We need 2,751 2, points. Magar 6 versus T-72. Right. Good luck with that. How fast are you off-road? 60 kph? Okay. Hell of a lot faster than I was expecting. Yep, yeah, he just one-shot a Magach. Come on, there's two of you, there's one of him. Go! Shoot him! Thank you. Push back. The Magach's here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Are holding their own. <laughs> 2300 points. There's another Abrams. If the Abrams get an opportunity to fire, they'll take it. And you will lose. Uh, I still have the Dorbans. I just don't have a spotter at the moment. There. Well, we're, we're trading upwards. These are, what, 18-point tanks versus 80 points of uh, M1 Abrams. 1967 points. Unfortunately, I think I lost all my high-end Merkava 4s. I still have these, but not the Mile Ruach. Shit. Oh, Hilo. Oh, the NTR unit died. Great. Lock down this bridge. They appear to favor it. Thank you. Rakit, just drop over there. That's another twice 120 points. Glide bomber coming in. F-111, just there in general. HGMs, recons down, F-111C dropping everything, come on, incidentally take down the helo, Hovet, out of range, these are carrying infantry units, I would very much like it if they do not survive. <sighs> this is not a fair fight. That uh, helo has a range on me. Go. Ovet. Eliminate. No, don't get killed. Come on, boys. 1437 points to go. Nimrod's out. You need to fall back. You need to fall back. You need to fall back. Urgent. We got these things all over the place now. The 24s. Oh, they took out the Hovet. Shaitet 13 is still alive. These are tough guys. Um, that's B3s. I don't know, just send a couple of glide bombs at it, lacking anything else. Fall back. Thank you. 
Two glide bombs should stun it. Oh. There we go. Take that thing out. 1,235 points left to kill. They're stunning the Nimrod. Or sorry, they're blinding it. They're smoking it up. Come on, is that going to kill it? Yes, it is. Fall back with that one guy of Rovait. Just carpet bomb this whole area. Six 1,000 kilogram bombs ought to leave an impact. Yep. Watch the pretty lights in the skies, boys. No kill? Unexpected. Ow! Damn napalm tanks. Cut that out. Thank you. Fall back. I got a Kernus, but nothing else that's useful. Um, give me another Hovet. 782 points need to get killed. Patriot Pack 3. I would, however, like to get the two hardened ones back. This Patriot cannot fire upwards. This Pack 3 can. TCM working. Hardvark. Carpet bomb that. They're heavily damaged. Shytet is busy holding the line. Killing off another napalm tank. Thank you, Ardvark. Oh no. Yeah, that was the palm knot. We need 342 points. We're almost there. Hang on, boys. 317 points. Ooh, just clear out that helo. Thank you. 250 points. Get the napalm tank. It will torch you if you don't speed this up. Ah, now there's more. 226 points. Sufa. High-end tanks up for grabs. The highest bidder. Where the hell are you even targeting? This thing is dropping on several different targets. 191 points. Drop the B3. 156 points. 36. These Shyatet are so incredibly tough. Come on, that tank should do it. Sufa. Uh-oh. One, one kill. 20 points. Brakit, here. Glide bomb it. Use your derbies to take out that MI-28. I'm oh, sorry, MI-8. Yes, no, maybe? No! Missile got taken out. Zero points, we got him. <sighs> 10,000 points in kills. Oh, that hurt though. 2,900 points in losses. It's still a three times markup. But it was not quite what I was hoping for. Total victory, though. Ah, I can't pounce on them. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, in that case, we're just going to move the helos forward and prepare for another offensive. These guys are going to move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Might not be at full combat strength, but we'll just have to make do. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. More fighting next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It looks like we are getting quite close to Arish at the moment. We're not there yet. They can still push back. So, I hope you guys join me for what's probably the last episode next time. And I shall see you guys then.